Liz Truss uh, has given her speech to the Tory party conference, her party's conference uh, in Birmingham. Uh, here's what she walked out on stage to. We need to get Britain moving. We cannot have any more drift and delay at this vital time. Uh, that is the immortal voice, Heather Small of M People. M People's moving on up. An unimpressed Heather Small by all accounts. Heather Small's son uh, is a Labour Party councillor. Uh, diametrically <laughs> opposed to Liz Truss <laughs> and her government. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The premise there, of course, being that the, the Conservative slogan right now and the slogan for this um, event is get people moving. So it's all about moving. So Keep they just went, Britain, they went or get for, Britain moving. They went, went for the most lazy moving song they could think of. And if it's a 90s But I pop, do love pop. that the lyrics, so somebody tweeted the lyrics <clears throat> to moving on up, but it was like, you've done me wrong. Your time is up. You took a sip from the devil's cup. You broke my heart. There's no way back. Move right out of here, baby. Go on, pack your bags. <laughs> pack your bags. Like, no. The lyrics, <laughs> even though I get where she was going yeah. with the chorus, I feel like... You know, the first li- verse. I was just gonna <laughs> the first verse. Like it's, like you, it's a you, bit you turn on the tune, and within 15 seconds, you've been told to get like on out of there. The tune, you have to. Yeah. Be, you know, right. Heather Small and them people. Did you say they never had a number one? In the never, never had a number one in the UK. Robs. Neither did the Lighthouse family, who we were looking at the same. No, the wait, same the bracket. Lighthouse family did not have a number one. No, no that to me is less surprising than them people. I would disagree, but the the go pack your bags motif is something which a lot of Tory MPs are kind of openly. Angling for Liz yeah. Truss, which is astonishing still because she's only a month in the job. It's just, how is she only a month in the job and this is what's happening? I mean, it's kind of outrageous. Uh, and th- this is where, where things get really um, tetchy because there is now, be- do bear in mind, by the way, that Liz Truss never had the support of a majority of MPs in the first place. She got into the job because she won over the grassroots, but more MPs wanted Rishi Sunak, her opponent, than, than her in the leadership election. But they've already changed leader once since the last general election when the public gave them this massive majority to go into power and govern for five years. So it's manageable once maybe to change leader and to to go on and have a little bit of a a pivot. But the question that they now face is, well, if we get rid of her, is it at all tenable that you would change leader twice without at least getting public backing for where you're going? Which means that if the Tories want to stay in power with the majority that they've got, the only person that they can afford to ditch Liz Truss for is the guy that they elected three years ago with no. that giant stonking mandate. Don't say that. I don't know. Don't say that. Think I know it's that being Boris think Johnson. He won. He Gavin. definitely, I, I'm, I, I <laughs> no. think it's a, an open secret he wants the job back, whether that's in no, the future. Can, I, can, we just, can we be realistic here now? Is this actually a tangible possibility? Well, I mean, look no, at the opinion polls. Not no, immediately, okay, not, though. Okay, okay. But if you look at the opinion polls, um, evidently the, the, the last thing that the Tories would want now is an election because they're basically looking at like a 1997 style, Tony Blair comes in, 400 and something seats and they're in opposition for a decade. And they, right. they clearly don't want that. So how do you cobble things together? You either have to just make your peace and get behind Liz Truss or you bring back the last guy, which means that they are now in this situation where despite openly and like even within her own cabinet, openly trashing the stuff that she's done and undone in the last 10 days, that they're kind of attached to this sinking ship. There's nothing I enjoy more in politics than when a government is in full meltdown and you are having people openly in the media sledging each other, mm. calling each other spoofers, saying that people, you know, the cabinet colleagues need to shut up mm. and get behind the leader. It's a beautiful yeah. thing. And even like, if the Fianna Fáil are Ardesh, right, there, <laughs> there might have been a struggle, but at least they were all on the same page. Like this, this was the conservative version of the Ardesh. And they're all leaving in what's supposed to be this moment where they leave in like this sense of emboldened unity. And they're all like stabbing each other in the front, not even in the back. They're moving on up, Cav. They're moving on up. <laughs> Pack up your bags.